Welcome back to Guru Beauty. I am Jody, and I am sharing with you my latest empties. This is where I show you what products that I have used up that are related to beauty, and I let you know whether I would recommend them, whether I would intend to repurchase or not. And we certainly have some repeat offenders in here, so you'll get a good idea of what are some favorites that I go through on a regular basis. Starting with, yes, my whitening mouthwash. Yes, I have finished up another Listerine Whitening Plus enamel protection antibacterial mouthwash doesn't matter what brand I do use a whitening mouthwash every single day for maintaining white teeth I absolutely do repurchase all the time I really just look for anything that's on special whether it's from Oral-B Colgate or Listerine I have actually finished up a couple of dry shampoos from Chlorane I was sent some and I have certainly repurchased and repurchased since I was sent them I had the opportunity to try all three from their dry shampoo range and I now know what works for me and uh, what doesn't necessarily. So I did finish up a bottle of the original Chlorine dry shampoo. When I first used this a few years ago, I really wasn't impressed. I have not gone back to Chlorine since, but it was a really great opportunity to revisit the brand because the dry shampoo with oat milk for all hair types, it doesn't necessarily keep all my oils and I have an oily scalp at bay. This is one that I would use typically on day one. So I did actually finish this can today on my day one hair. I washed my hair today and it's a really nice one just to give a little bit of body to the roots on day one. If I need something to be soaking up oils, this is not the one that I would reach for for my oily scalp. So I would recommend this one for those who don't necessarily have oil that you just want a little bit of... Um, you know, just a tiny bit of gentle texture, I guess, in your roots without, you know, white. I didn't notice white with any of these dry shampoos. So if that is one of your concerns about having too much white powdery stuff, I think that this is a great brand to go for. Okay, so the next one in terms of oil control, this one provides probably medium oil control. This one is the dry shampoo with oat milk for brown to dark hair. Now this one does not come out brown, so you don't have to worry about spraying your scalp dark or spraying your face dark or worrying about your furniture or your makeup or your clothes at all it just I guess isn't quite as white they call it a natural tint this is an oat milk formula which is just like the original one I don't know why I feel like this might be slightly better at oil control but I just feel like it is I would probably prefer this to the original white one because I do have darker roots um, but it certainly doesn't spray out anything dark so I don't know, I feel like the difference might be just a little bit more oil control, but I think if you've got blonde hair, you could use this with no problem at all. <laughs> um, but this is my favorite out of the range. It's got the dark green lid, and this is the dry shampoo with nettle. And this is specifically for oil control for oily hair. This is a fantastic dry shampoo, and I'm so glad that I had the opportunity to try it again. Have repurchased, would repurchase, would definitely recommend. It's up there among my top dry shampoos now. Chlorine, very accessible, quite affordable and fantastic for oil control thoroughly thoroughly recommend with nettle oil control for oily hair okay I've also finished up this body wash this was contained in an East Coast USA Maslow & Co box I'll include links down below to my Maslow & Co box opening this is from the brand air I think is how you pronounce pronounce it e-i-r this is a um, a Brooklyn made product, so Brooklyn, New York. It's the Active Body Wash. It's a supercharged cleansing body wash with antiseptic and revitalizing formula to restore moisture and balance. It contains organic plant oils. And um, I wasn't a huge fan of this. I just, I don't know. First of all, I like a pump in a shower. We all know that. We're sick of me talking about that. I didn't particularly enjoy the scent. I don't feel like it particularly suds up, probably because it doesn't contain any nasties like um, sodium laurel sulfur but if you're like me and you like something that's really nice smelling and that suds up that's not the one for you another product that I finished up in the shower this is one of my favorite favorite hair treatments or just daily conditioners it's from Shu Uemura and it's the ultimate remedy um, extreme restoration treatment for ultra damaged hair I recommend and have tried the whole range they have a shampoo and this treatment conditioner they're absolutely beautiful I've bought these products for my mother I think for Christmas I got her a pack so that's how much I love it 
It smells absolutely beautiful. I love the perfume of it. I don't like the tub. We all know that, but it leaves your hair just silky soft. You definitely feel like you've nourished your hair. I don't think you just need to use this as a treatment. As I said, you can just use it as your conditioner and leave it in as long as you can in the shower. Love it, love it. Have definitely repurchased at full price. Thoroughly, thoroughly recommend. I got that one from Morris Mead here in Perth, but I can include links down below where you can get it online. Back to teeth whitening. This is the Colgate Optic White Express White, giving you whiter teeth in three days. I don't know if it gives you um, three shades whiter or whiter teeth in three days. Um, I wouldn't recommend a toothpaste if you're after a whitening effect. I would recommend white strips or bleaching or a professional bleaching of some kind. And then I would recommend this as a maintenance treatment. A product from Australian skincare brand Skinstitute for serious skincare. This is their Even Blend Serum. To clarify uneven skin tone and pigmentation, this one is made in Australia, comes in a nice little 30 mil tube. I did find, it does have a cap that goes on the top of this tube, but I did find that it was not all that travel friendly in that the little nozzle did leak. The formula is quite runny. It's not like a thick gel, it's quite a runny gel. And um, without that cap, you really have to really make absolute sure that you've pushed that little flip top down or it will leak all over the place. But hard to say at the same time I'm undergoing like serious laser treatment for evening out my pigmentation but I do like this product. If you're after skincare, you're in Australia and you're after skincare for um, you know helping with pigmentation moderate mild maybe mild to moderate pigmentation this is definitely one to try. Great reviews online for that one too. I finally finished up my favorite summer scent of last year. This is the Tom Ford Mandarino Diamalfi Eau de Parfum. Very, very expensive. Many of you who've been watching me for a while might remember that I purchased the Satsuma Eau de Toilette from the Body Shop. Very similar scent. And I would say I would not repurchase this. I just found for the price, and this is an expensive perfume. For the price, it's probably not as long lasting as I would hope. At least I didn't notice that. And I would be happier paying the Body Shop prices for their Satsuma. I love the smell of mandarins and that kind of citrusy scent for the summer. I love, love, love this beautiful blue bottle, but sadly I would not repurchase. Another shower product. This is from the brand Buff and Polish. This is a natural body scrub and I loved this. This is the Buff and Polish Strawberry and Lime Body Scrub. The ingredients, very, very natural. We've got raw brown sugar, freeze-dried strawberries, coconut oil and lime essential oil. That is it. I loved it. You know, sugar and lime and strawberries that I was rubbing all over myself. I loved the freeze-dried strawberries in it. I don't know if the full size comes in a clear package like that, but it's so fun to see the product in this clear packaging. It's awesome. I'll include a link down below. I really did enjoy scrubbing with that. I thought that it was effective, an effective scrub that you could, you know, feel, feel the scrub. I finished up this SPF from Alpha H. We're heading into the summer here in the Southern Hemisphere. You definitely don't want to skimp on your SPF if you are worried about pigmentation or aging of any kind and at any age. SPF every single day is the foundation of good skincare and anti-aging. The Alpha H Protection Plus Daily SPF 50 Broad Spectrum Cream was a great one and that's for my combination oily skin. I found that this sat beautifully under makeup. I love and adore this packaging. A little um, pump tube so so travel friendly and I really enjoyed this sunscreen and I would certainly consider repurchasing absolutely I finished up something from the latest Maslow & Co box this was the Korean box that came out in October and there were a bunch of masks in there as you'd expect for a Korean beauty box this is a wash off mask called the pink fruity wash off mask from the brand Half Moon Eyes. I quite liked it. I definitely did feel like it was active on my face and I like a mask to be active. I want to feel it tingle. I want to know that it's doing something and I liked this. The Maslow & Co box contained three in total. So um, yeah, really looking forward to trying the other two. And I loved that it was an interesting pink color too, just a little bit different from every other mask that I've ever used. I have finished up a product from the brand Medicate. The name of this product is the Full Lash and Brow Duo. It's an advanced serum for brow enhancing and lash maximizing. On one end, you've got a eyebrow spoolie, great for brushing through your brows at night to help 
the growth. I guess stimulate the growth of brow hairs if you want fuller brows. And then on the other end, you've got a really, really fine brush to brush along your lash line to help with your lash growth. I'm not sure if it made a huge difference though. Some skincare from Philosophy. This is the Miracle Worker Overnight for age resetting and anti-wrinkling moisturizing. This is a nighttime moisturizer. I really quite liked this. I used this on my trip to Europe and thought enough of it that I did want to keep it in my suitcase so that I can include it in my empties video here. I really enjoyed that and I definitely would consider the full size. My skin was just in tip top shape as I was traveling and I uh, felt like that was hydrating and nourishing for the nighttime. Finished up a little perfume sample of the C Eau de Parfum from Giorgio Armani. C is one of those scents that just smells so different on everybody. It's not one for me. I don't find that it lasts very long at all. Some days I smell it and I like it. It hasn't inspired me enough to buy the full size, but that was okay to use while traveling. Um, let's see some makeup cotton rounds. This is from the brand available from Big W here in Australia called BOE Essentials. This was an 80 pack of 100% pure cotton soft and gentle makeup remover pads. They were absolutely fantastic. Some of the things I look for in cotton pads is that they don't fall apart, they don't have sharp edges, they're soft enough um, and absorbent enough. Um, and don't leave fibers on your face. That's generally what I need from a cotton pad. And I thought these did great. So I would definitely recommend them to you and consider repurchasing myself. I finished up a little um, Lux sample size of the Kate Somerville Exfoliate. This is an intensive exfoliating treatment and uh, I love it. It smells very sort of organic. Some might say a little bit funky. It's green, but it's a very granularly scrub. I love this for just every few days, even once a week. I feel like just when I want to really clarify and make sure I just, I'm getting everything off and sloughing off all of the dead skin cells, just more than my normal Clarisonic would do on a daily basis, I get this one out. I love it, I think it's great. It's recommended to be used once or twice a week. And I just, yeah, if you want a good scrub, I think this is a really great one. A Couple of home fragrances I have finished up. This is one of the Circa Home fragrance diffusers. Circa Home makes this scent in pear and lime. And I really quite enjoyed that, a really nice fresh, Fresh, sort of slightly fruity, but not too sweet scent with the lime. Really liked the pear and lime. Would definitely consider repurchasing. Very attractive packaging, I would say. And lots of reads. So a good um, throw from the Circa Home brand. And I also finished up the Morgan and Finch Lumiere fragrance diffuser. This is in the scent Sandalwood and Clove. It's very sort of um, woodsy spicy. I loved it, but um, yeah, it took ages just to get to the very, very bottom. I loved it. I would recommend it. I think this is a great winter scent probably for me, autumn or winter. Okay, almost there. I have finished up this little product. This has become an absolute staple in my skincare routine. Doesn't matter what other toner or serums I'm using, I find a spot for this after cleansing, perhaps after toning if there is another toner. This is the La Roche-Posay Cero Zinc. It's a zinc sulfate solution. I've featured it in favorites videos. This is recommended for oily acne skin, um, but I find the oil control that I get from this is absolutely fantastic. Fantastic. I find that I don't need to touch up near, anywhere near as often, even if I'm using those sort of lighter weight, oilier, dewier foundations. This is a great one. I think maybe it's not one that you would notice on the very first day. So maybe it's something that, you know, you need to use day and night for a little while until you realize the effects. I've used a can of this without being sure if I noticed a difference in anything after, you know, I'm probably, I don't know, maybe five or six bottles in to Cero Zinc now. And yeah, it's a staple that I don't think I would do without in my skincare routine anymore. Absolutely love it for oil control recommended. No makeup today, but skincare, hair care, home fragrance, um, body care, everything but makeup. Hope that you enjoyed. Don't forget to make it a gorgeous day and you are absolutely beautiful. Whether you do use any of this stuff, whether you finish it, whether you don't, whether you have any of it or not, you are absolutely beautiful. But you know, so much more important than looking beautiful is being it. I will see you again really, really soon. Bye. You're seeing